In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create an asphalt road material in minutes. Let's build this asphalt road material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. First of all we adjust the texture to a 2 to 1 proportion by clicking on the lock button. Now we switch the resolution for height to 1K. This is because we want to do a long road texture with focus on horizontal tiling. We're using a starter assets material preset as base. They are located in the assets panel. Let's choose the asphalt material and drag and drop it into the layer stack for a basic asphalt. We also change the random seed. To make it smaller we add a transform filter by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in transform and choosing transform. Let's change the scale X and Y to 8. To get rid of the stretching we use another transform filter and reduce scale Y to 0.5 because we don't need vertical tiling. Now we drag and drop in the clean concrete material under the second transform filter. We choose the dark rough preset, change the random seed and make it slightly lighter. Adding two materials on top of each other blends them. This way you can combine multiple materials. To tweak the blending settings we click on the button behind the material preview. Then we adjust the offset to control the height blending. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. We use another concrete material with the dark rough preset and a different random seed to draw in areas darker from rubber tires. Let's increase the color variation to 1 and choose a really dark grey color. As blending mode we choose custom mask blend. Now we click on the mask button and increase the blur intensity a lot. Then we adjust the mask tile to draw multiple stripes at the same time. We further adjust contrast and the balance for a smooth mask. Now we draw a big stripe in the middle of the image. To make it straight we click once at the starting point, holding shift and click on the end point of our mask. If you want you can also play with the roughness and roughness variation to make the tire areas more or less shiny. For crack details we use the cracks filter with a darker color. Let's decrease the spread and amount for less big and intense cracks. We further increase the roughness slightly to make it less shiny and decrease the normal and height intensity to match it better with the overall road. To get the nice AO map we use the height to AO filter. Let's choose height and normal for better details, decrease the intensity to 0.1 to make it less strong and choose uniform distribution for a smoother look. Now we use a fill filter to have individual control over channels to make more grungy but also fresh looking asphalt. We activate base color, choose a nice grey and adjust opacity for a more uniform grey color. To draw the middle stripe we use pattern. We activate custom pattern and click on the brush button. While holding control we use the mouse wheel to adjust the radius. Now we draw a straight line. Use T to activate the tiling in the 2D view. With F we frame it in the center. Let's change the color to black and remove the areas between the stripes. Further we make the edges straight. As color we choose a light grey. Finally we get rid of the pattern blur. Let's repeat the same line drawing process with another pattern filter and a yellow less saturated color for stripes on the edges of the road. For texture tiling adjustments in the viewport we use the texture tiling parameter in the viewport setting and offset it with texture offset. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights, till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. 
Make sure to also adjust the resolution to a 2 to 1 size. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.